Breaking news from China, the country's Tianwen-1 Mars probe has successfully landed on the Red Planet. The spacecraft includes an orbiter, lander and rover. Scientists from the China National Space Station have received signals from the rover named Zhurong. The lander is expected to deploy a ramp for Zhurong to roll out onto Mars and begin its mission in the coming days. The rover is designed to work there for at least 90 Martian days. The Tianwen-1 mission was launched in July 2020. It's China's first attempt at sending spacecraft to Mars. Now, for more on that, let's cross live to our reporter Sun Ye in Beijing. She's been following this very closely. Hello, Sun Ye. Tell us more about this big announcement. Right, Pandan, China's Mars mission has landed on the Red Planet. China's National Space Administration had declared the landing a complete success an hour ago, saying that the probe had landed on schedule and on spot at the designated landing spot on the southern part of Mars, Utopia Planitia. The administration said the probe had started descending from its parking orbit Saturday around 1 o'clock Beijing time in the morning and successfully went through the entry, descension and landing part, which is the hardest and most intricate part of the whole mission that have also kept people on the ground on edge. It actually took some time for the piece of good news sent by the Chinese rover to reach us as the Mars mission now is more than 320 million kilometers away from Earth. Now that the Chinese Mars probe has touched down safely and successfully, it will be starting on another historical feat. It will be working for over three months, as you said, on Mars and take a comprehensive survey of the mysterious planet. The Mars probe would be gathering data about the composition of the planet's surface, its geological structure, its climate and the environment. And for that, the Chinese rover, which is called Zhurong after the Chinese god of fire, will roam the Mars. It's carrying six scientific instruments, including a multi-spectral camera, a meteorological sensor and a radar. And if Tianwen one can meet all of its goals, that's including orbiting the planet to make comprehensive observations, landing on the surface and deploying a rover to conduct the tests we talked about, it will become the world's very first Mars expedition to accomplish all three goals with just one probe. And as some experts has caught the landing on Mars the toughest challenge of the entire mission and having done that with flying colors it looks like Tianwen 1 is on course to accomplish the rest of it and we do hope to hear from Tianwen 1 very soon more from it very soon Pandong. indeed thank you very much our reporter Sun Ye in Beijing now for more insight we're joined in the studio by Professor Yang Yuguan with the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation thank you very much for joining us uh, professor i believe this is also big news uh, for you so tell us how, how difficult uh, technologically and technically to actually make such a successful landing on mars well the successful landing today is not only a great milestone for china aerospace but also a great milestone for the space field of the whole world this comes from that the entry descent and the landing is the most difficult landing on mars much more difficult than landing on the earth or on the moon this is because the atmosphere of the density of the atmosphere of Mars is high enough and low enough. It is high enough so during the descent the aerodynamic heating must be protected so we must have a heating shield. But the density is also low, low enough so the parachute cannot reduce the speed to a safe the touchdown speed. So we also need the uh, retro propulsion or a rocket. So we must combine the heating shield, the supersonic parachute and the uh, retro rocket together. All these procedures must uh, be done in a very harmonic mode and even the switching of each mode may cause the failure of the landing. And on the other hand, you know that the landing today is happened more than 300 uh, million kilometers away from the Earth. So the vehicle must do it in a very highly autonomous mode and it must depend on itself. We cannot do anything from the ground. So that's a difficulty and before today only the United States can successfully land the spacecraft on the Martian surface and perform uh, the scientific research and today we become the second. And I think this is also a very important mark of China to become an advanced country or a space power in the world. 
Well, uh, as an outsider of aerospace technology, I believe all those um, technologies and designs you just mentioned are mainly about the lander. But let's take a whole look at the Tianwen One. Actually, it includes uh, an orbiter, a lander, and a rover. Tell us more about the thinking behind this design uh, as a package. Uh, this comes uh, from the fact that although we've already been a big country in space field, but we are still a developing country. You see that uh, the Earth uh, meet a launch window to the Mars every 26 months. So the United States almost launch, uh, launch a spacecraft to the Mars every two years. But because we are a developing country, we only have a limited budget. So we want to have the highest return and the most uh, highest efficiency. So we only have this mission and in the future maybe have a sample return mission. We only have two missions. And so in this mission, we can combine an uh, orbiter, a lander, and a rover together. Uh, this is the first time the, the, the whole world, the space capable nations do it. Uh, and we will have the highest returns, not only for China, but also for other countries and for the scientific research of scientists all over the world. So now the landing is a success. So what, what can we expect next? What, what can come in out of Mars next? Maybe within today or within the next several days? Uh, well, you see that according to the uh, official announcement of the China National Space Administration, we get the uh, image, uh, we get the information about successful landing. This comes from the telemetry data because the telemetry data do not eat a large amount to inform us this. Uh, the next step, I believe that we will get the first image from the Martian surface. Mm -hmm. But you know that the image needs a lot of a large amount of data because of the uh, the distance, as I mentioned, more than 300 million uh, kilometers from the Earth. So the transmission of data is relatively small. So the next step, I believe that we will uh, get the image, the first image from Mars, and then we will check if the lander is okay and the release of the rover. Thank you very much, Professor Yang Yuguang with the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation there. Indeed, the landing on Mars marks a huge and historic achievement for China's space program. Now let's take a look back at how the country got there. China's most powerful heavy lift to carry a rocket, the Long March 5, carrying China's Mars probe and now being rolled on a mobile platform to the launch pad. This is our first space